Hello everyone, my name is Sinner and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps with the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, well, let's get into the video. Maybe something if you're playing on solo mode and you get knocked down, reduces your hit points. Maybe your character instead spends like five or or half of their total revives, half of their total heals, to fully heal themselves and get back up or get just to one hit point again. Like maybe that could be a thing. It's still incredibly punishing. Because it's like five heals <laughs> for me. But, uh, yeah. Could be a thing. And if you have your loss, you just, you just die. Hmm. Sitting here trying to think of other things we could do. Oh yeah, so here, if you have anything that is a class specific, a blood code specific thing, so like Ishtar's blood code uh, abilities, make those, like give them an, because you have to be playing Ishtar to level those up, and until you master them they are Ishtar specific, instead, well in addition to what you have here right now, put like a box around them. That makes it extremely obvious that they are uh, of the blood code you're using. Because otherwise you have to spend time like looking for the blood codes you haven't mastered yet. And it's just a waste of time. For abilities, have them track. Like, like there's... When you use an ability and then the enemy like just moves a few inches to the left and then your ability misses, that's absolute hot garbage. So... This happened a few times where I'd be fighting an enemy, then I'd go to use an attack, and my character would just go past the enemy. Instead of tracking the enemy and hitting them, they would just continue going in the uh, direction they were going. And most of those were this. Like, okay, cool. Sounds good. That sucks. Because that makes something like this not great. <laughs> I mean, it does 1800. Uh, that's like, what, four attacks to do the same? Yeah, about four. I would say maybe these, like, big attacks should be sped up. Because what you don't want to be in the game is for... If you can't animation cancel, like I can't... I'm, I'm hammering uh, dodge here and I can't, I can't break out of that. So what that means is, if I use this ability, if I use that circulating strike, that's what it's called, against an enemy, and that enemy start, and that enemy goes into a effectively a you're gonna uh, into what is effectively a one-shot hit against me that means that uh, just because I did this I'm not dead there's nothing I can do about it by the time I'm doing the like last swing their attack is gonna hit and I'm gonna get one shotted and that'll be it now to get around this obviously the developers just did they, they didn't intend for you to beat the game at level 30. They probably intended for you to beat the game at like level 90 or 100. So a lot of these things how they right now how they've dealt with these problems is they've made it so that you just have more hit points. So let's see where are our hit points listed? Right there. So every level you get about 20 hit points. Sometimes it's 19, sometimes it's less. But you get about 20 hit points a level. 20 to 19 hit points. 
So, level 30 versus level 100. Well, we have 70 times 20, so we have 1,400 hit point difference. There. Most enemies aren't. Most of the enemies that were one shotting me probably wouldn't one shot me at that. The last bosses flying in the air one shot you with by hitting the entire area entire arena and an unblockable undodgeable unless it just doesn't hit you ability it's possible that uh, if i was closer to level 100 which would be level appropriate for that i guess that i wouldn't one shot probably just do a bunch of damage i'd use a heal to get around it and if i would just move forward as usual I'd also be doing a lot more damage, so considerable amount more damage. So it's partially it's about being challenging, but the thing is, as I've said, what makes a good Souls game, good Souls-like game, is that you, with each class, I suppose. In this game we have a loose class system, but with each option to play, you could, in theory, why did we do that when we could have just gone somewhere else? Because now we can't use things. Alright, we wanted mind and will power? I think. Mind by time. Oh, that's what I said. And then I think we wanted, what was it? I think it was about I core. We'll probably just check the video <laughs> later. Oh yeah, that's right. It was this one, and then it was whenever we enter a focus state, we get hit points. That's what it was. Where is that? Uh, no. No. Like, it should be a heart of some sort, but it's not. Where is it? A lot of the focus things are down here, so let's see. Maintain focus, focus carnage. Drain boost. I don't know where it is. Uh, there we go. Got us a smile. So it is a heart. That's good. So, in theory, <clears throat> we should be able to beat the game no problem. Which is this kit, effectively. <clears throat> we have no weapons on us. In this case, we probably go with Ranger, because then we can be super fast. But, in theory, we should have beat it like this. With no abilities, with no ally. We probably can. So... That would be not to to be able to do that, but that's how tight that's at level one. <laughs> so that's how tight a Souls game should be, a Souls-like game should be. Let me give you an example. In Lords of the Fallen, <clears throat> there's this fun thing that happens where I, I remember watching a Let's Player. He played a rogue. This is his first playthrough on Lords of the Fallen. Now those of you who have played Lords of the Fallen, some of you are probably currently moaning because this let this let's player started with a rogue. And they're and they're saying, oh man, he made the game so much harder for himself, if not impossible. And that's because Lords of the Fallen didn't get the memo that uh, things needed to be super tight. And so instead, in that game, the rogue is literally super mega hard mode because the rogue effectively has to get to an end of a combo 
support to do damage, so imagine if its combo looked like this. And that's what, in like the last two, is where the majority of the damage was for the rogue. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Let's say that's the combo. It's a five hit combo. And the majority of the damage is on four and five. So, this part of the combo. That, that's basically how Lords of the Fallen Rogue worked. Now, the problem was, enemies didn't really get hit stunned. So, the rogue, who's basically made of glass, gets hit by enemies while doing his combo, gets hit stunned in this long hit stun animation, gets hit like three, gets hit a bunch more times, and then has to restart his combo. It's like, wow, this sucks. <laughs> so, this Let's Player played as the rogue in Lords of the Fallen. He got to one of the, like, I think before middle game bosses, and was like, guys, this game sucks. I think I'm done. I guess I'll check out another class. Then he rolled with the knight, which is the intended way to play the game, or whatever he is, the big weapon guy. And he's just like, guys, this game is super easy now. The only difference was, now I'm just playing a tank. <laughs> and that was it. If you ever wondered why people think Lords of the Fallen is a hilarious game in that respect, um, that's why. If you ever heard that Lords of the Fallen sucks, that's why. Aside from all the bugs that were in release. So what's the uh, the point here? Well, the point is, those light games are very, very, very tight. And you should be able to be at the base level. And you really shouldn't have jank, like, with the rogue. Versus the versus the fighter. Um, just to give an example, uh, how that applies here is you want to avoid you want the game to be as tight as possible that is central around the mechanics of the game. Now the gifts, the gifts are are presented to you as in like a as a primary focus sort of thing. But the gifts really just give you options. Like, realistically, if I go through the game as a ranger, the vast majority of the things that I'll be doing is, is attacking the enemy with a weapon, dodging, maybe blocking, and parrying. This is the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay loop. Attack with weapon, dodge attacks, parry some attacks, block some attacks, I suppose. But just try to constantly stay away from the enemy's attacks, while doing damage, maintaining your stamina and health, healing yourself as needed, keeping your allies alive, that kind of thing. Everything else in the game is ancillary to that. So if we have combos, okay, well, I mean, okay, we have combos. The, the combo is, let's just test this real quick. One Mississippi, well, let, let's test it from when hit. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Now let's test it from when hit to when I can dodge. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. So about th three Mississippi. About three seconds. One. So that does about the same amount of damage. So, one Mississippi. Let's go with when I hit the button. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. So it's about four seconds. However, I can effectively animation cancel compared to this. So I'm having to swap being able to do about the same amount of damage in three seconds that I could do in four seconds. But the four second version, if things go south halfway through, I can avoid. So I think all of the special attacks you can use in the game definitely need to have some sort of animation cancel. But back to the point. Back to the point. These are all these are all ancillary to this system. Okay. So what that means is the game should be built around this dodge this dodge basic fighting mechanic and gifts are just that add-on that adds more to the game, more to the gameplay 
but it doesn't supersede the gameplay. As it feels right now? Uh, it feels like if you don't have at least the don't die from getting one shot of the ability on, you're probably not doing it right. Or you're building into some like super one shot build, which is hilarious that you can do with Himdal. So, just to, to play with that, uh, I did see that somebody was using, I, I think, uh, Himdal's Jack's weapon at some point. So, that's good. That probably is. That's probably among the best of the one-handed weapons, I would assume. In terms of damage. So... But, but this entire system, uh, with the gifts, is all ancillary to... the basic combat game. The basic combat mechanics. Swing, dodge, block, parry. How many times, and, and also I want to point this out, you're, on some weapons, the, the heavy attack, I guess, was decent, but on others, like, I don't think I ever used it. I think most of the time I just used, like, the basic swings, and that's kind of sad, because I think that's a lost opportunity. I really do. What I'd like to see instead is they make it to the heavy attacks, I guess, these are better, more usable, maybe faster. And I'm aware you can get Jack's thing where you're, where this comes out like in 75% of the time. So I'm aware of that. I don't really care because it's ancillary. But, you know, it's there. But this should be fast enough to be used by somebody even without that on a regular basis. Because otherwise, it's just going to turn into people are going to use nothing but this. They're not really going to use other things. Like the the guns, the muskets. Like, I use those. I use their, um, their gun a lot. So that was good. But, um, yeah, other things didn't necessarily. So... Yeah, there are some things. There, there are a lot of things I would like to see changed or improved about the game. Uh, they're not going to be. The game is dead, effectively, in terms of development. Uh, hopefully there's a Code Vein 2, or maybe something where there's a Code Vein God Eater official crossover where, I don't know, the Revenants are doing their thing. The God Eaters are doing their thing. I have know nothing about the God Eater game. Uh, God Eater games. <clears throat> I remember somebody said you can't even die in that game. So that would make it just a like a point game, I guess. Like see how high you can get your score. So I mean that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah. Uh time from that. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, matchmaking. Definitely matchmaking. They aped the matchmaking system from Bloodborne, but they didn't do it right. <laughs> they did they did it like 90% correct. But they didn't do it 100 percent correct. So you can send up the stress signal and that's passive. Once it's out, it just stays out. The search for the stress signal, that should also once you, once you turn it on, that should also just be something that checks every, like, 5-10 seconds for you automatically. Instead of you needing to sit there and, and just keep hitting it yourself. Because, um, I mean, if you're here and you want to do PvE and you want to do co-op, then clearly you want to do that. Maybe you're just running around doing other things. So, why not? 
I would make it so that if you're at home base, you can go to the depths, you can go to the towers, I don't know if those are under the depths as well. You can go to bosses, you can go to DLC, whatever you have unlocked at the moment. Just make all that, like, doable from home base. And if you want to go and do story stuff, then that's cool. Go out into the story world. It, like, if you want to do the depth specifically, then go to the depths. If you want to do campaign, then go to campaign. If you want to do tower, then specifically go to tower. So I think that could be really useful. Because otherwise, it's just people just want to go hang out with people and, and have fun and see what uh, stu dumb stuff they can get up to with Ishtar. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. But, as of right now, I think they're this company's newest, this developer's newest game. I don't remember what it's called. It's like something about telekinesis, psychokinesis. Something about, um, it's basically, it's very similar aesthetic, but, um, it's uh, Scarlet Nexus, I think is the name. So go check that out. We'll probably check that out at some point in the stack. Uh, but uh, that might be a bit. But yeah. Alright guys. My name is Ben Finmer. This has been Code Vein. Go ahead, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Share the video with whoever you think would like it in the series. And I'll catch you guys next time. We will go and, by the way, we will go and collect the, uh, the ones where the blood codes were missing in, in New Game Plus. And we'll probably co-op the entire way through New Game Plus. Just because, well, we're, we're going to be level 30 and the enemies will all be much stronger. So people will come in and get absolutely annihilated. <laughs> That'll be great. But alright guys, my name is Vipimmer, this has been Code Vein. Go leave me a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and share the video with whoever you think you like it, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. So we're back in the... Uh, cathedral, so I think we need to talk to this person. Oh, we meet again. How have you been? I'm going through the successor data I collected again, as part of my research. While I agree with Mito's end goal, his means were utterly abominable. I'll find my own way to save humanity. Just you wait. Yeah. Alright, so... We found another depth map. The last one that's in the base game. Do you say anything new that me that the bosses did? Did I want to thank you. I never even dreamed you. Nope. Okay. So we found another map. That other map is effectively, you go to the, the Cathedral of Sacred Blood, and then you go to the first missile, you turn around, you make your way up here. And this allows you to find another, another of the depth map maps so it's just over here you come over here instead and then it's over here in this area it's like the blood of impurity or something like that anyway let's make our way back to Davis All right, Davis, what you got for me? Need to go to home base, then we can do this area, unlock this area, and do it real quick. We're going to need to farm some Queen Titanium so we can uh, get our weapons up to level 3. Because I think we want to do this one, and then these two. To 10th awesome. level before we go into new game books. I'll lead the way. Just tell me where we're going. All right, here it is. Territory from here on. Blood of impurity. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Oh yes. 
deep trailblazing. Because we have a mod currently that we're going to be using for New Game Plus, which should be fairly chaotic. Now, we when we go to a new missile for the first time, we only have... Well, we're by ourselves. Alright, let's go in. We don't do enough to one-shot it yet. Oh, she disappeared. I mean, that's fine. Alright, let's... First off, let's turn this on. Then let's turn that on. This. And bridge to glory. Alright, very nice. Hello you. Hmm. You might swing slightly slower. Oh, we also lowered our level to level one. Make new game plus more of a cluster. We did that with cheat engine. There's no anti-cheat in the game. So there's nothing stopping us from doing that. Yeah, we're getting some awakes. We have this now, whatever that is. We can kill these guys with Bridge of Glory in three hits. Those like weird fish in two hits. I think those are literally called fish, so it's like corrupt fish or something like that. Right, but, but new game is that new game plus is gonna be kind of interesting. So what does this do? No idea. Fire has been lit. Got it. Let's take care of this. First. Ah. Alright, let's run away like complete cowards. Because we need to heal. Oh yeah, that's right. Our, our heals are all full heals at this point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hello, friendo. Ah, uh, damn it! All right, let's have a game get us a partner. All right, come on, you. Let's do this. Alright, very nice. It's to be Alright, come on. Let's do this. We can kill him very easily. Let's go and fight that big guy again. Our mistake was that we had a real focus on parrying. And that was not necessarily the safest thing to do. Alright, you. Ah. Very nice. He's dead. What do we have now? Another big guy over there. Well then, let's go say hello to the big guy. Hello, you. There we go. Next I work that time. Let's heal a little bit and we are good to go. We have the Hanakura armor or whatever it is. Now we can heal with drain attacks. Ah! Come on, friend. Damn it. We keep trying to parry him but our top but our timing is all. Okay, so he's dead. Uh, 
And let's go ahead and continue making our way forward. Imagine New Game Plus. Oh no, it's one of you. Well, this is going to be interesting. Alright, let's do it. Oh, it's two of you! Hey, hey, mate. help me! Okay, it's dead. He's going to explode soon. Very nice. Ah. Nice, we got them. Alright. Let's go ahead and change this. You know, we should probably be playing in Queen Slayer right now. Oh, we should be playing in Hades, actually. Or Queen. Yeah, let's do Queen. So we can at least level those up. Alright, let's do this. Please don't do anything you might regret. Okay, let's go. When we get over here, we will want to check that area we haven't been to yet. Just blow him up. <laughs> 3,000 damage. Not too bad. Let's turn on this, and let's start getting some Icor. We may have a friend. The nice part about uh, basically being one-shotted by everything is that uh, health doesn't matter. At least not as much as you'd think. Oh, goodbye. Oh, he's alive. <laughs> Overwhelming Dutch. I cannot stand logging stools. Alright, so what else we got? Where is this guy over here that we heard stomping around? Ooh, nice. Barely missed us. Alright, so freezing seems to do the trick against these guys. Nice. Let's go ahead and turn this on. <laughs> I do like that it's just a full heal. Alright, I think that's everything, so let's go on to the next sword. Let's just put on our different weapons so we have more speed. And I'm curious about something. Okay, that's maxed out. What about swift destruction? Does that change our light and uh we need to switch that over to suicide spare. So, we are at... Dark is 6.33 right now. We turn this to something else. Where is it now? 6.33. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so what was this? Uh, I literally don't remember. Uh, let's see. Oh, it was Dark Mastery. So if we're focused, our Dark Damage is so much more. Uh, let's actually do something else there.
Let's go getting more Icor on drain attacks. Alright, so what is that? I heard something moving around. Alright, let's get more drain. Yeah. Freeze. <laughs> 3,000 damage. At, in the blink of an eye. Hello, goodbye. Shocking. Alright, that's... Keep going. That's good. He's gonna wish he noticed this though. <laughs> Telling that we just blow them up. Alright. There are more Queen Steel? Not the worst. Let's wait for our healing to come back online, and let's keep going. Let's get some micro up of him. Nice. I think that's everything there. Alright, let's get Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Not much damage. Alright, and that's the way out of here. That's the way forward to the boss. Hello. Goodbye. Let's keep it stun locked. Nice. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. Eh. Eh. Those other bullet codes are not very fast at all, are they? Take good care of that. Oh, yeah. That's the other flood key. Very nice. Is there supposed to be another... Oh, no. Hello. Goodbye. Give me your icor. Who's next? Who wants some? He wants some. <laughs> Just shoot him. Right, you're actually a bigger problem. Alright, let's get ourselves some Icor. <laughs> Very nice. Ah. You help me. Let's get Eo back up. Let's destroy this person. Oh, man. Let's take care of... Ah. Burn. Yeah. 
Oh, thanks, you. You're a lifesaver. Really. Oh, we missed. How could we miss? Nice. Did you find something good? Alrighty. Well, there we go. With the, like, super caster blood code. No problem there. Now, we were coming over here when that started. So. Let's make sure there's nothing hidden around here that we need to find. It doesn't look like there is. So let's go explode the boss. And see where things go from there. Alright. So, who are you? I don't know, you just want you're just some random person? You're some individual there by yourself? Oh no, you got friends. I mean, not not enough friends, but you got friends. Goodbye. <laughs> they just get incinerated the moment the fight starts. Okay, so is there anywhere over there we have not been? No, and I don't think so either. So let's go ahead and teleport back to the missile. Alright, let's just sit it again, see if it shows back up. Hello, Eo, let's go. Nice. We have the Lord of Impurate. Oh no, it's you. Ah. Die. Burn. Oh well, you're you're in trouble. And goodbye. Oh no. I think I have to deal with her the Texas way. <laughs> All right, very nice. So she got jacked up for her. Alright, so we have all the depths maps now. We've mastered some of these. So let's go see what else we can do. What other shenanigans we can get up to. Well, first of all, I know that if we go to probably Rocky Ruins or Zero District, I think Zero District, we can get lots of titanium somewhat quickly that way. So let's go over there. And grab ourselves some toy tiny, shall we? Let's go ahead and grab EO into the group and let's go. Alright, so we're after just a bunch of titanium. If we can get our hands on it. We have room to move here. Lost nearby. Stay cautious. Die, dog. Yeah. Let's go to a Let's go to a better weapon. Alrighty. Hello. Freeze. Thank you. Burn. No. Let's make sure our region is going. 
we have this Bat Noble. So let's just go ahead and take care of you, shall we? <laughs> nice. No titaniums just yet. I would like to be able to buy them. I don't know if we can buy them yet from... Uh, what's her face? The face this lady. Hello! Goodbye! That's a no titanium's drop yet. That's not too bad, I guess. Let's go ahead and... Maybe, maybe they are being sold at base. I don't know. I haven't really checked if titanium's become viable. Purchasable. I guess we could go up if we wanted to. Before we start the mass companion playthrough. But well, let's clear Void District first. And then we'll see from there. Dirgs! Ah! Take this dog! Because <laughs> we're so low level, we have to hit it a lot. Duh! Nice. Seems to do the trick. Oh no, it's you! Well, we really are harmless, aren't we? Burn, lady! Damn it. Freeze, lady! Okay, have a shocking day, I guess. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I think she shield bashed us into submission. <laughs> she was like, you like having a skull? I don't. Like you having one. Finally awake again. You see, Mido's Pipkin is named Evolution. Hers is just a friggin' shield. Oh no, not a hostile presence. Do you still sense it? Well, let's pick up our ash. Our ash, our haze. Oh, we're getting one shot of the gun. Crazy ladies after us. Into the back. Go. Yeah. Hey. Oh no, yeah. Duh. We need to run away. Get some distance. Well, aren't you just something? Eh. Die. Hey, right, go. Cool. And what's this? Did you find something? Oh man, you you don't want to you you really don't want to know where we where we had to stick our hands to get that lost crystal. Needless to say, that dog is probably very happy he was dead, and that we made a duck bill shape with our hands. All right, let's see. So nothing down there. And over there's the bosses. All right. And lost will be the lost one. 
I know, it's so, uh, so well named. What's yours called? Oh, so what's the final one, the final one called? Last one. It's like Keanu. All right, so what do we have over here? Beware the rocks. Oh no! Well, no titanium yet. All right, let's see what shenanigans we can get up to. He's like, hey! All right, spikes, lightning, and stabby stabs. Come on, stab that woman. Ow. He was like, hey, have you been to Texas? <laughs> I got a present for you. Hey, what's up? And we backstab you. Ah. Now we have to play really safe. She's just like, I got this. I can break these cups. Uh! <laughs> Alright, um, well, this is going to go very poorly, I think. It's very that most of the enemies are going to one shot us. Um, run. This looks difficult. We don't want to fight them. Not on, not on their footing. Let's try to bait them out. Good, let's do some damage. Now let's keep running. Give me your eye gold. Ah. Hello, fat lady. Burn. Oh no. Ah. Oh no, it's two of them. Jack's got overlap. Oh no. Whew. I mean, she's a one shot even when you're level 30. Oh no. Good. Hello, friends. Good to have you. Ooh, thanks. I'm doing this a level one just for uh, reference. Yeah. Very nice. Let's get ourselves some eye core. Freeze, buddy. 
I'm not your buddy, pal. I'm not your pal, buddy. Ooh, we don't want to uh, have anything to do with that, Pat Noble. Or just like chill out. All right, die. Are you stuck? You're stuck. Goodbye. All right. Well. We had to play super defensively, but let's still do it. All right, very nice. We can certainly use this. We have uh, gained no titaniums. A handful of awakes, though, which is nice, I suppose. We have to choose one way or the other. How we're gonna get you? Get you? Get you? Get you? Get you? All right, let's go. Two fat nobles. You ready? Let's do this. And goodbye, nobles. Die. One down, one to go. Nice. All right. Unfortunately, no titanium. Well, we'll have to uh, see what we can do there. Go ahead and teleport back because it's faster. Hmm. So I'm thinking we might be better off going to the Crypt Spire. That might serve us a bit better. So let's go to the Crypt Spire. Just so we can get our hands on enough titanium to upgrade everything we need to upgrade before New Game Plus. Oh. There's another NPC around here, is there? Well, alright then. Well, let's uh, get Eo in the party again. Then where's that guy? Somewhere. Oh well. Let's go. The first thing is first. Let's get that going. Let's go blow this guy up. Nice. Good job, EO. Nice. <laughs> the first enemy we kill gives us Queen Titania. That is indeed a good sign. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Good night. All his friends decided to stay lying down. Looks like uh, EO has left us. Let's go get some help from him. Ah. Give me your Icor. You will be next. Let's go ahead and heal. 